This video is all about the six main parts of the full-featured renewable off-grid energy system that I'm going to teach you how to build here. First of all, there's something to collect energy from the wind. There's something to collect energy from the sun. There's a charge controller, batteries, an inverter, and an optional generator as well. On the wind side of things, you've got a wind turbine. It'll have a propeller. It might sit on a tower or on the top of a building, and it swivels around automatically to face the wind. In this project here, you're probably looking at a unit that puts out 1,000 to 2,000 watts of power. Another part of the system is photovoltaic panels. These convert sunlight directly into electricity with no moving parts, and the panels for this project would have a similar output to the wind turbine, maybe 1,000 to 2,000 watts of power. The charge controller is a kind of low-key and hidden part of the system, but it's very important. It regulates the amount of energy delivered to the batteries so that they're as charged as they can be without being overcharged. It takes power from the wind turbine and the photovoltaic panels and the backup generator, if you've got one, and directs it all to the battery. Batteries are typically the heaviest and often the most expensive part of the system. I recommend either lead acid or absorbed glass mat. One very important thing is the need to size your bank of batteries so they don't get discharged too much. The less you discharge batteries over the course of years, the longer they will last. All batteries produce what they call direct current voltage, or DC voltage, and that's not suitable for plug-in items. So this is where something called an inverter comes in. Typical output of inverters would be 120 volts AC, although you can get inverters that produce 240 volts AC as well. Whenever possible, you will want to use direct current directly to save inverter capacity. An optional part of the system is a fuel burning backup generator to provide power if the wind and sun side of the system can't keep up. In a setup like this, the generator would feed power back into the charge controller where it would direct power to the charging of the batteries appropriately. The 120 or 240 volt AC output of the generator could also be used directly for powering things. So you put these parts together and it lets you convert wind and sun to the most sustainable and renewable source of power there is. And I think it's a pretty good deal.